What a beautiful day it is here in BGC today. Jenny and I actually just got finished with the Daiso Grand Opening event. It was very um, exciting. There were yes. so many people there. And then immediately after that, we got caught up with some other errands, which we'll try to share in a future vlog. With that said, we ended up back at our condo building and it was so unexpected. We ran into some people and they were saying hi to us at the lobby. Yeah. And it was so sweet. So shout out to you guys, uh, guys. viewers and you know, followers of BGC Dreams. And I just got to say, like, it got me, um, it caught me off guard. So, yes. I mean, I, I, I saw Jay's face. Yeah. Um, he was so overwhelmed. <laughs> and it's not like the first time it's happened to me, but because I guess it's happened um, more and more often, um, it actually makes for a great topic. So for this vlog today, we actually want to share some behind the scenes um, raw emotions. Yes. And kind of discuss the topic of um, social anxiety <laughs> and um, just some of the emotions you feel as vloggers. So yes. stay tuned. So to get started, uh, this topic is actually a topic that we just usually discuss uh, behind doors, you know, when we're home, when we're relaxing, when we're eating at home. But like today, um, it just so happened that um, I saw on Jay's face, like his anxiety was so apparent. I mean, like, I'm not saying, you know, it's bad when people say hi to us, but um, yeah. we just want to air out our side. It's like we don't want to be mis uh, misinterpreted. So. Well, yeah, like there, that. there's uh, an explanation for a lot of things. So I guess I'll start off then. Yes, yes, please. Yeah, someone like me, um, I've always been kind of, I'll just say like socially awkward. Okay. Um, introverted, as in um, I don't really process feelings and emotions like immediately. Okay. So one thing about me, and this is like as far back as I can remember, if something is very touching and emotional and impactful for me, I actually like process it internally and it doesn't really show up on my face. If anything, if I have a blank stare or reaction on my face, it's actually, I think, more reflective that um, I'm very touched and in a good way, like um, it, it means a lot to me, like it pulls on like the heartstrings. And um, this is something I guess has always been really challenging in my life because um, my mom is the complete opposite. So. All my life, just being around my mom, I could just see like, when you do something meaningful to her, she like lights up. Yes. She's like really glowing. And she's always been very magnetic with people. I've mentioned this in past vlogs. And she was so animated. And she's so animated. So of course, like, you know, that's my mom. So I'm very proud and happy for her. At the same sense, I've always been like, huh, I wonder why I'm not like that. You know, I didn't get those traits and those attributes from her. I guess you could just say it's made my life a little bit more challenging in, in that way. So I've had to compensate other ways, right? And maybe this is one reason my mom used to tell me, like, the reason you're probably more empathetic to people, like you can sympathize with them, you understand their struggle, is because most people don't understand you because, you know, they... It's, it's very easy, like, on the surface to just judge someone on, like, their facial reaction. But my mom was always very supportive of me, at least, because she said, like, I know your face isn't um, indicative of what you really feel. So just to clarify, like, if we ever come across, like, you know, viewers and subscribers of the vlogs and they're so excited to meet us in person, like, I actually feel the same. Like, it's um, an out-of-body experience for me. It's, like, the most touching, amazing thing ever. You know, like, wow, somebody actually recognizes you. Yes. Because I don't think that's something I could ever get used to. You know, I'm so low-key, right? Like, I don't think I could ever take that for granted. You know, I'm trying to get better with it over time, but, you know, I apologize to anyone who's watching this who might have been offended because, like, it really means a lot to me. I just, it's hard for me to show it on my face. Yeah, sometimes he just looks mean, but he's really not, guys. <laughs> he's just, like, still processing what's, uh, what's happening at the moment. <laughs> so I, you know, I saw that just, like, a few hours ago. So that's the reason we're sharing it, because, you know, like, um, he is a very, like, compassionate and um, not really emotional, but um, 
he really appreciates like small things, just like just those things, like saying hi. That's really huge for him. But I know it doesn't. His face doesn't <laughs> say it. Doesn't say the same thing. And I think it's really awesome that Jenny and I kind of um, complement each other in that way, because for me, like the really spontaneous stuff is uh, it catches me like off guard um, much more than Jenny. Jenny is definitely much more approachable, especially <laughs> with strangers and I hope so. you know, like um, like just random events that we attend, and you're just meeting a lot of people. But on the flip side, there's actually something about Jenny as well that's very interesting, and um, maybe you want to share that. I'm actually the opposite of Jay. So he was uh, saying uh, he gets like an uh, anxiety when he meets spontaneous people. I'm the opposite because I get anxiety thinking like I'm going to be meeting people. So for example, we met like a lot of um, subscribers and viewers from the vlog and some of them are actually one of our friends now and one of our closest friends. So when we schedule like, hey, we're going to be meeting at this, you know, at this place, at this hour, like you have to prepare, right? Like an hour or two hours before you, you get to prepare and always tells you like, can we just like cancel it? Like, uh, don't, don't we need to do something else? Like, you know, I have all those anxiety. And then when, especially when we're like walking and I know that they're going to be there anytime soon, I always tell you like, oh my God, I'm so, I'm so <laughs> anxious. Like, can we just like handle it? I have that. But the moment I actually meet them, yeah, I feel fine. Yeah. So see the, the opposite of our, <laughs> yeah. of our social anxiety. It's, it's very interesting because I'm not like that. If something is like planned and uh, prepped in advance, I think I'm more at ease. But I think for Jenny, it's the build-up. Yeah, the build-up. You know, the anticipation, like, oh, we're meeting them in 10 minutes, in yeah. 5 minutes, or we're already at the restaurant or a coffee shop, and we're just waiting for them to arrive. Yes. Those moments, it's like almost like her palms get sweaty, and yeah. uh, she's starting to get jittery a little bit. But I just think that's, um, that's awesome for me. <laughs> <'Cause>, <laughs> we compensate that uh, yeah, way. <laughs> we can finally, like, switch roles. Yes. Because in those moments, I'm actually more at ease. Than, than Jenny. But in general, I think this topic is really worth sharing because I just don't want people to misconstrue or misunderstand and think, oh, if you're a vlogger, you're always comfortable yeah. meeting people or being on camera. Because like we filmed over like 100 vlogs by now. And I'll still admit, like I don't like the camera. I get anxiety when the camera's on. I'm like, oh, man, like, I don't know what to say. I don't know what to do. <laughs> Um, yes, usually when we film our intro, we usually film it like 10 times. Probably. But when we start, like, you know, when we uh, finally done with the intro, he's, in the, he's, he's like in a groove now. <laughs> it takes a long time for me to get in the groove. So, um, yeah, I just wanted to share like where we're coming from and kind of um, how we feel yeah. with uh, social dynamics. And for me, it's always actually reassuring and in a way like it feels good when you hear from other people like some of the people we've met and they said i was so nervous to meet you yeah because uh you know it's like for us it's just like oh wow somebody can relate and understand and like we totally respect that and understand the other person and you know we definitely don't try to give anyone a hard time because we know what it's like to meet somebody new for the first time and yes. deal with social stress and anxiety so we understand all the anxieties, the, the feeling of anxiousness, you know, and um, usually you really don't know what to do or how to like cure it. Usually the other person who's, uh, who, you're, who you are with is usually the one who can calm you down. So in my case, that's usually Jay. Yeah, it definitely helps if you have like <laughs> someone to share the burden with. Yeah. Um, but I'll say like we've had subscribers reach out to us as well and they said like I love your channel but I'm too shy to meet you in person. Yeah. And again that's totally cool. We respect that. And you know I'll say like it's definitely something it takes time and effort like for some people it just never goes away yeah. either. And like that's okay. Like you know I, I never judge anyone on a first impression anyway because there's a lot of pressure on the first impression. Of course. And you really don't know what the other person feels or thinks, right? It's, it's just too, uh, I, I just don't think it's very accurate to just base something on a, on a first meetup. Yeah, for us, like, you know, when we're meeting uh, new people, like regardless if you're our subscribers or you're our viewers, or we're just like meeting randomly, you know, we make sure that, you know, the other person feels comfortable because we don't want to be like, you know, like, oh my God, I met these two vloggers. They're so, 
I don't want to say the words, but you know. Condescending. <laughs> can, okay, uh, that's a better way of we saying can use it. Use a more PG rated G. <laughs> <laughs> we can just use a more um, subtle word. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so yeah, you know, we always we always wanted to try our best to make just everyone comfortable, even though ourselves are not probably very comfortable. <laughs> but you know, as the as we progress with our conversation, we actually feel comfortable. Yeah. So I think that's just our situation. <laughs> yeah, so whether you're an introvert out there or extrovert, um, I hope you have a better understanding and idea of where we're coming from. So these are kind of more you know, personal thoughts and feelings we yes. never really conveyed or shared out in public yeah. to the rest of the world. But this is just kind of our viewpoints. Yeah, we wanted to like, you know, uh, address this because uh, as I said, we've only been talking about this like behind, you know, behind the scene. But um, I guess as um, the, the viewership increases, yeah. I think it only, it's, it's only fair for, for the viewers to know what we are really like going through. Yeah, and this is another thing and reason why I appreciate the Philippines so much oh. and Pinoy's in general. I think they're definitely much um, easier to oh, meet yeah, and greet. Course. There's so much more understanding because there's kind of a thing in like, um, like America, for example, where people try so hard to give a good first impression. Mm -hmm. um, and they always want to appear like they have the swag, the confidence, the bravado. Oh. So if you show like anything like less than that, mm -hmm. they almost judge you as being like weak and inferior, right? Oh. So, you know, there's, there's a lot of that. I mean, I dealt with it a lot growing up, but I just feel like much more at ease meeting people in the Philippines. Because I think just in general, people are so much more uh, understanding and accepting like, hey, you know, people come from all different backgrounds and um, upbringings and personalities. So, you know, they're just more adaptable. Yes. I guess. And uh, understanding. No, I, I like the word adaptable. Pinoy's are really adaptable. Yeah. So thank you guys for adapting to me and <laughs> all my awkward tendencies. So. We'll just try our best to um, get better, even though <laughs> I'm getting a little old <laughs> to change much. <laughs> no, but trust me, guys, Jay is, um, you know, the, the, the moment Jay process, process something, uh, he's, you know, he's usually telling me all this and he can't stop, like, just yapping about it. <laughs> I'm just not filming it, but I wish I did. <laughs> okay, I guess that's enough yapping for today. So thank you guys for tuning in to this episode of BGC Dreams. Please let us know what you think and whether you're an introvert or extrovert or, you know, have social anxieties or none at all. Please leave your thoughts in the comments below. We'd love yes, to hear please. more and um, have some discussions about it. Yes. And again, I want to say uh, hi and shout out to the to the couples, the lovely couples that we met at our lobby. So I just have to add guys. a lot of the Lola's and uh, Lolos that we meet in person, they're like the sweetest people ever. I know. Uh, it's so like kilik yes. for me. So <laughs> thank you guys so much for following along. We really do greatly appreciate it. Jay means kilik, okay? Even though he can't see <laughs> it, right? <laughs> he said, you know, I feel it. What, what do you feel? Kilik. Kilik. <laughs> kilik. <laughs> yes. yes, that's right. That's, that, that's the right way of saying it. <laughs> okay, if you enjoyed this content, please remember to give us a thumbs up and to subscribe to the channel below. Until the next vlog. What's your Tagalog? Be less awkward. <laughs> What's your Tagalog? Ingapokayo. All right, bye guys.